The Boy Who Dared by Susan Campbell Bartoletti. Day 264. It's morning. Soft gray light slips over the tall red brick wall. It stretches across the exercise yard and reaches through the high barred windows. In a cell on the ground floor, the light shifts dark shapes into a small stool, a scrawny table, and a bed made of wooden boards with no mattress or blanket. On that bed, a thin, huddled figure, Helmuth, a boy of 17, lies awake, shivering, trembling. It's a Tuesday. The executioner works on Tuesdays. Memories drift through Helmuth's mind like clouds, clouds that obscure his intense fear of what is to come. Slowly, they shift into shapes, Helmuth holding Moody's hand. In 1928, and Helmuth and his mother stroll up Lusenweg, the Hammerbrook Street in Hamburg, where they live in a small flat next door to Helmuth's grandparents. Helmuth is three. He is wearing short black pants and brown ankle boots that lace up. His older half-brother, Hans, is eight. Hans is wearing short pants and ankle boots, too. So is Gerard, who is seven. They are walking ahead of Moody. Helmuth worries that his brothers will get lost, or worse, that they will have fun without him. Helmuth tugs on Moody's hand. He wants to escape, wants to catch up with his brothers, but Moody tugs back. No, she says. Stay close. Hold my hand. I don't want to lose you. That makes Helmuth feel dark inside. It isn't fair that he has to hold Moody's hand and his brothers do not. A street. Helmuth sees this too. A noisy, crowded street. It's a parade. Brown-shirted men wearing red and black armbands and tall, black, shiny boots are marching. One swaggering brown shirt bends over Helmuth. What a big boy you are, he says. Do you want to be a soldier for the fatherland? Helmuth likes to play with toy soldiers. He forgets he is angry at Moody. He nods and tells the brown shirt, yes. The brown shirt laughs a big, booming laugh. He pats Helmuth's head. A smart boy, he says to Moody. And brave. Already he wants to fight for the fatherland. And his eyes, so alert. Look how they take in everything. Yes, says Moody in a proud voice. He's very smart and brave, too. A loud bell clings. Bright prison lights snap on. Helmuth sits, stretches. It's cold. He rubs his arms beneath his drab gray prison smock. He steps across the bare floor to the corner, raises his smock, urinates into the slop bucket. For a moment, the cell grows thick with the stink from the bucket and then thins becomes ordinary again. He lifts his bed against the wall, hooks it into place, sits on a stool, waits.